welcome to Ciudad Real International Airport, an airport some 200 kilometers away from Madrid Parajas and some 200 kilometers away from Cordoba International Airport, an airport in the middle of nowhere, next to a city of Ciudad Real, which is quite an unimpressive place on the map of Spain. So let's get the basics. This place has a terminal just behind me that's supposed to handle 10 million passengers a year. 47,000 tons of cargo can be handled in the cargo bay down there and it was supposed to be connected to a station of the Alta Velocidad Española network when it was built. But this airport has quite a different story and it's known as an Aeromuerto for so many reasons. So you're gonna ask, what's wrong? This place has the perfect things that go for it. It has a high capacity for passengers, for cargo, and it also has one of the longest runways in Europe at more than 4,000 meters. So four kilometers long, four kilometers, 100 meters about, depends on the sources. So what's going on here? Well, this place is an Aeromuerto, one of many in Spain, because you have to know that out of the 46 civil airports in Spain, only about six are turning a profit. But this one was a bit different. But this is no weak airport, it's a very well equipped place, a 40 meter control tower, category 3 ILS approach, full of facilities for pretty much handling anything, a big giant car park with two abandoned cars on it. This place could have functioned pretty well, but the idea of it was super ill conceived. And more about that now in an explanation on how this came to be. Way back in the early 2000s, it was clear that the Madrid Barajas International Airport was clogging up. With the passenger numbers expected to rise further in the years to come, and with no immediate expansion plan, a window of opportunity opened for a new kind of airport in Spain, an overflow airport for Madrid. Such an airport would ideally be located somewhere close to the city to supplement the high traffic, and given the situation this plan was not only genuinely good, but also plausible. Fast forward a few years though to 2006, and Madrid Parajas International Airport was upgraded with its terminal number 4, one of the biggest in the world. At this point, the dubious hero of today's episode, the Ciudad Real International Airport, was well out of its infancy stage. Being built way too far from Madrid, literally in the middle of nowhere, this place was becoming the biggest scrap pile in the country by the day. Its construction was delayed and then accepted way too optimistically, and with the mentioned expansion of the hub in the capital of Spain, it's simple that this was not needed, much like many other airports in the country built in the years of the construction boom. The difference was though that this one was being built in Castilla-La Mancha, which at around 26 people per square kilometer is the second least densely populated Comunidad Autónoma, second only to Extremadura which hosts its own aeromuerto, Barajos. With a population so scarce and a location so remote, it was and still is so hard to imagine that anybody would ever want to come here to Ciudad Real to hop on a plane. The fact that this place was constructed, in the end, stands testament that somebody who had this mind-boggling decision, that this, despite everything that was known at the time, was a good idea. It's important to mention, while on the note of nonsense employed at this airport, is that it was constructed in a manner all too familiar from Ciudad Valdeluz, literally on the Alta Velocidad Española High Speed Rail Line. A station was planned here, and if it was built then well, the tides might have turned for this enormous waste of money, as this would have been the first and only airport connected with the network at the time. Well, as we know though, this never happened. The station was not built, and thus here we stand, on the grounds of an airport that served in its role for some three years, after two official opening dates, one of which was botched due to a lack of commercial traffic. What is more, we stand on grounds that comedically almost switch hands to those of a Chinese company for a hilarious bid of 10,000 euros. Yes, if this transaction wouldn't have been cancelled by the court, we will be looking at a sale of a 1 billion euro investment for as little as 10,000 euros. The famous local Don Quixote, after whom this airport was named, would have been really proud. In the meantime, the location served as a filming ground for the crew of Top Gear, who drag raced on the runway with cheap supercars for the Crisis episode and the Volvo Epic Split commercial. Well, that's far off from the intended use of an airport, I think. Given that it opened just in line with the fall of Lehman Brothers, 
This gigantic waste of money with faulty underlying ideas took the economic crisis head on. We already know how that ended here, and how it ended pretty much everywhere else across Spain. With a massive, devastating and a long-lasting economic recession, the effects of which we can still feel today. But now let's go back to Ciudad Real, today as it is, as it stands. The thing that is so different about this place is that this was supposed to be one of the first private airports in Spain. So it was not going to be managed by AINA, the company that takes care of all the airports in Spain, but it was also a private investment of private money vacant from cheap credit from banks, as I probably referenced many times before, since this is a video about the crisis. So this airport was built at a cost of more than 1 billion euros. Sources say between 1 billion 100,000 and 200,000 euros. This was just for the cost of building this building, the terminal building, the cargo area, all the roads around it, the runway, and also a very famous bridge that was still supposed to connect this terminal to the AVE network. But the bridge costs 2 million euros, and currently the only thing at the end of it is a big drop towards the tracks because the station was never built. And this is probably one of the nails in the coffin of this airport as a passenger service. See, Ciudad Real isn't really in the middle of something anything actually significant. When you look at the location of the city on the map, you'll see that it's in the middle of nowhere, it's in between Madrid and Andalusia, which is actually where I'm headed, so I just stopped over on my way. This airport has a long road to Madrid, it's more almost 200 kilometers, it's almost two kilometers to Cordoba as well, so it's not a short drive, and the train would have made it easier, 15 minutes each way, so that's about, as for most people, a good commuter train connection time. But, well, the station was not built, so it couldn't function as such. And that's why this airport handled its last plane in April 2012, so seven years before today. So this has been sitting around for some 10 years without pretty much any motion, with only a few flights that took off many years ago. And there's pretty much nobody here besides people who are just like, maybe just like me, interested in such weird places. But there is a light in the tunnel, because recently a company took over this airport because the company that originally built it went into receivership and then was dissolved and currently this is owned by Korea and Korea is supposed to create a new facility here, a facility that is supposed to be oriented around manufacturing airplanes. All right, all right, I made a mistake here. It's not a manufacturing facility, but an MRO facility, which means maintenance, repair and operations. Just a quick note. Something much different than the original intent but probably this is the smartest idea that you could have here. This place has all the facilities for manufacturing, a long runway, a lot of ample space that you can fill up with hangars to service planes and bring parts in. It's a perfect location for a new type of business, and this is exactly the type of business that Korea seems to be promoting, but I guess we'll have to wait to see what comes out of it, because the current story of this airport is as is. Not very impressive. You won't be able to see it, but all the way, like down there in the distance, that's the air control tower. I cannot go there because it's forbidden to drive that way. But that place shows you how enormous the runway is because the runway is four kilometers. That's a hell of a long runway that can handle the biggest planes, the Airbus A380, which is the largest passenger jet now in service. And now I'm just gonna go and see the last piece of the airport that you can actually see. And that's the damn visitor center, which serves as a visitor center to the airport. Or that was its mission, because somebody thought that this is such a genius idea that it has to be shown off in a visitor center. In the middle of a desert, next to Ciudad Real, which most of you probably never heard about. So let's see it in uh, less, like, one second. So like in one of the old songs, up ahead in the distance is the visitor center, which is occupied by some people, so I won't go there, but come on, what was the point?